itself invokes excitement. From its humble beginnings in 1948 as a baby furniture store founded by Charles Lazarus, up until 1969 when the moniker of Toys R Us was first coined, generations have now passed knowing that Toys R Us was the number one name in toys, the premier place to get your toys. You know, today will be a day that is mourned by many, toy enthusiasts, toy collectors, but most importantly, kids. You see, Toys R Us was about kids. Kids of all ages. Yes, I know I'd go into Toys R Us as a grown man and spend money in Toys R Us and meet other toy collectors who were grown men and women, but Toys R Us at its heart was about kids. You see, Toys R Us was a place that as a kid you could walk into and see stacked up to the rafters toys of all kinds. It was more like a toy amusement park. The possibilities, the imagination that would run wild. I remember going into Toys R Us. We didn't shop at Toys R Us a lot when I was a kid because, well, my grandmother felt the prices were a little higher. So we shopped at the local Kmart and the local stores right around our house. But every once in a while, every now and then, we'd make a trip out to the mall. And right across the street from the mall was Toys R Us. We didn't always buy something, but just walking into that building, just imagining what was in the four walls of that building, toys that I had only heard of from my friends, toys that you could find nowhere else, that was Toys R Us. Toys R Us was more of a concept in my head growing up than anything else. It was the place. I remember seeing the commercials and entering to win the sweepstakes, to be able to run through Toys R Us and grab as many toys as you could. Mm, to have won that. But every once in a while, I'd get something at Toys R Us. I remember the first toy that I ever bought at Toys R Us, and I still have it to this day. And that is this 1989 Toy Biz Batman from the Michael Keaton Batman movie. See, this was a really hot commodity back then. And I was super excited to get it, and nobody had it. It was in such short supply. All my friends wanted one. And I called Toys R Us, it must have seemed like a dozen times, asking them if it was in yet. Because when I was a kid, I didn't know anything about release dates or anything like that. I just heard that it was coming out. I remember that last time when I finally called and they said, yes, we have it in. I put a hold on it that day, and I convinced my grandmother to drive me out to Toys R Us to get this Batman figure. I still have it. And I share that story a lot. You see, Toys R Us was a fun place. It was a place that you could be a kid. I hope that your memories of Toys R Us are good. You know, sometimes I'd go into Toys R Us and I'd be frustrated because they wouldn't have new toys. They wouldn't have the newest toys out. Some of the shelves would be packed with toys that had been there for like three or four years that had never been discounted. And I would ask, why, why, why? But I always felt the Toys R Us was going to be there, and eventually those toys would get out. Toys R Us wasn't perfect, but Toys R Us was Toys R Us. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. There's so many toys at Toys R Us that, well, we can no longer play with. From bikes to trains to video games, it was the biggest toy store there was. I don't want to grow up, because if I did, couldn't be a Toys R Us kid. For all of you Toys R Us kids, let's remember. Let's share the memories of Toys R Us. Please leave your comments about Toys R Us down in the comment section, or go to Twitter and Leave something there. Let's continue the conversation. Toys R Us meant so many things to many different people, and I'd love to hear what Toys R Us meant to you. Until next time, I'm Enosh, and for all of you toy collectors, keep hunting. But hey, just because it's not there anymore doesn't mean that we can't be a Toys R Us kid. Bye-bye.